Hey guys, Mtash here, and today I wanted to talk about making a tank build in The Division. Now, I made a video the other day saying armor and health is useless, and I still firmly uh, believe in that. Armor and health is, is pretty much useless because even if you stack this up to 240, 250,000, you die in, in like a split second when enemies get to you for the most part. You get bursted down very quickly, and there's no major uh, defense of that. You just die so freaking fast that it's, it's, it's trolly in a case. Um, but there, there is ways to be tanky, um, but it's more in sustain rather than a lot of health and armor. It's being able to outheal enemies more than anything. And so I wanted to showcase this today and talk about this today and show you a couple, you know, variations you can do. But I want to warn you to not follow this build. I'm telling you right now near the beginning of the video, do not follow this build because it's terrible. My damage on this and my optimization on this is awful, and I don't want you getting ideas and thinking to, to even go for a lot of these stats. For example, just a quick example, on my knee pads here, I've got health. Probably not a good stat to have. Um, I don't know if you can even get armor on knee pads. Probably can, somewhere, maybe. Oh, there we go, bonus armor. This would be much more valuable, because a lot of the stuff that in this is scaling off of armor. And so, you know, just for example here... That's like 7,000 freaking armor that I'm missing out on. If you're looking at my chest piece here, I've got a good chunk of bonus armor here, but a lot of my other rolls are in health and like pretty low in health. And so don't look at this freaking build and be like, oh, I'm following this. It's terrible. But I want to talk about why this would work and why this can work and why even with an average shitty build, you can still sustain a lot of stuff um, with it. Again, Armor and health, you're going to die pretty much the same time. But using the patience perk, after being in cover for three seconds, armor repairs 5% every one second. So the more armor you have, the more this is going to heal. But this is a nice sustain to your build. Now, when you stack that with something like safeguard, it can get pretty nutty. 150% bonus armor, or bonus, sorry, repairing effects for 20 seconds after getting a kill. And so this is going to stack with patience, it's going to stack with your chem launcher and allow you to heal like crazy. And if you're going into this route of high armor, high health, there's a couple perks you can look for to give you some extra damage to actually be able to kill a lot of these enemies. One of them is the compensated perk where you get 15% uh, extra damage with your crit chance being below 20, but you can only take three red stats. So you could build into this and get you know, a ton of health and armor. You could do a mixture. I'm going to actually open up a, a build here really quickly. This is, you know, Wids made this build pretty popular. Again, he's made some pretty awesome builds. I don't know who invented this, um, but he's got an LMG build, for example, that's 377. He's actually using some um, on the ropes here to get extra damage. Um, but, you know, he's using the unstoppable force. He's using compensated. This is a pretty cool build as well. So if you're going to be looking for a build that's a little bit tankier, this is another option is, is this Wids build. And so these numbers here can, can vary. You can go 377, you can go 3113. Um, it depends kind of what you want to do. Me, I'm going for more health and armor, or, or that's the game plan eventually with this build, is to stack bonus armor and health here and use Safeguard to sustain through things. But um, as of right now, this is literally just a hijinks piece of garbage build. If you're looking for damage, you're going to get it from Unstoppable Force, getting 2% weapon damage for every 10,000 armor. Um, I'm getting 36% extra damage right now because of this. You could crank this into the 50 realm. This could be a huge boost to your damage. But again, my stats suck. Okay? One of the biggest reasons why is just base armor. I have a lot of, like, 450 score here, and um, I'm missing out on, like, tons and tons of armor. So... It's, it's mostly because of this stuff. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you this now. Um, how this sustain works and keeps you alive. Now I'm going to shoot her and she can do some damage to me. Oh, she melts you. But behind cover, you're going to see that I get my health back and my armor back. And I can sustain this. I can kind of make my way back into the fight. And so if I keep trading her and taking bits of damage, I can just kind of keep, keep surviving. Right? But the reason I can stay in this fight is, is because of this sustain more than, more than my um, overall tankiness. Because when these guys come up the stairs, I'm going to die pretty much instantly. Right? I, I, they're going to they're gonna shit on my health bars. 
But if I'm able to weaken them a little bit, and even though two or three of them are going to push up the stairs here, um, I'm going to be able to sustain a little bit. Through my healing, right? They're going to push up these stairs now. I'm dead. But with stuff like this, and with my safeguard, in these situations where I'd normally be bursted down, I can hopefully get enough armor back to survive this. But again, in most situations, if you're getting caught off here, if you're getting caught, you're dead. It's just over. There's no way, even with this, you can sustain it. Now, if I had a little bit more armor and my patience was ticking in, maybe I'd be able to sustain that. But the hope is not that five enemies rush you and you tank through it. Because you still, in these harder difficulties, you're still going to die. The idea is, after taking a little bit of damage, you can heal up with patience, and you can hopefully um, not have to blow a chem launcher. You don't have to blow um, a, a med kit or an a armor kit. It's these little bits of damage that come in when you go to do damage and he shoots you, that you keep getting that back, and you stay relatively healthy the whole time. So when someone does come behind cover and burst you down, you're at at least three quarters to full HP. And so that's where this build is going to be valuable. It's not that you're going to tank like freaking crazy amounts of damage. You can crank out some pretty good healing and, and sustain. But it's the fact that you're always healthy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use a perk called um, Entrenched. So when behind cover, headshots from cover repair 5% of your armor. Now we're going to use this one as well because this one's pretty good healing. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do some damage here on these glitchy black tusks. I'm gonna kill a couple of them just so we don't die instantly, um, because this one is is a little bit harder to use. Instead of being able to just constantly heal while doing damage, oh my god, seriously, my damage is so bad. Um, now what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna try to land some headshots here, and this is gonna hopefully keep me alive here. And I'm just gonna try and lay it into these guys, and I'm gonna get little ticks of healing, but it's not as sustained. It's not it's not as constant. And so you die to burst almost easier in this case, right? Go behind cover. You can see my armor goes up a little bit in these situations, right? You can see I'm getting I'm getting nice chunks of armor, uh, you know, while fighting these guys. But it's still it's even though it, it does provide you some sustain, and you might be able to 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 survive in these situations. If you're caught out, you're still probably dead in a lot of these high end missions. In these, in these heroic missions, you're probably dead. Again, I could have more armor. I could heal more. I get this, guys. But the argument now is, is it worth it? Is it worth it to build into these tanky things? Now, if you look at, at this build, this Wids build, this is a 377 build. He's got a good chunk of armor. He's got some good health, and he does hit very hard. Um, this is more uh, based on, on kind of being tanky and doing damage. And so I recommend you watch this video from Wids because he uses... Um, I guess I could show you the abilities. He uses an ability um, called On the Ropes here, and weapon damage is increased by 25%. He's using Compensated, um, and he's getting some weapon damage here, and so he is able to tank stuff like Sniper Shots and still dish out a lot of damage. So there's ways to be tanky and, and still build for damage, but being a tank is, is still extremely tough in this game. It's, it's almost impossible to make it work in this game, um, without sacrificing something. You can have more health and armor, and you can do some really solid damage, but you're not necessarily a tank. And so the argument is, what's the best thing to do? Do you do these builds that are hybrid? You know, Wids' build is, is kind of 377, and he hits very hard. He hits, hits very hard. He's, he's, he's more tanky. Uh, do you go for, you know, a healing build, or do you just go for damage? Now, if you look at this build, I'm just going to do a really quick showcase of this. Uh, I, just, I don't know why these aren't off, set up properly. But with this build, my armor and health is much lower. But this is pretty much optimized for damage. Now, the question at this point is, if enemies can't shoot me, they can't do damage to me. And they can't kill me. So in this same situation, on this same, same mission, I'm going to kill this enemy. Come on, go down. In this same situation, if these enemies can't get up the stairs to me, I'm, I'm essentially tankier. I have a better chance of surviving. And so if I'm able to pick these enemies off as they're, as they're you know, coming down, 
and kill all this stuff, then am I not tankier? It's a different type of tanky. But I'm at less risk of dying killing these guys before they get up the stairs to me. Right? I still have some sustain. I still have, uh, have, have ways to survive in this. Right? But, like, they're still going to burst me down no matter what. I'm, I'm dying if they get up these stairs. And so I would rather almost gamble on being able to, to, to kill them before they get here than trying to sustain through it. And so I don't know. I've, I think this is a really tough thing that they need to fix because right now I would rather personally to just have damage. I'd rather just lay in this guy, flinch him a bunch, and, and try to kill him than try to tank his damage and, and take forever to do a mission. I would rather I would rather die here ten different times, reload it, and try again, than than try to pick at these missions for fifteen minutes and try to survive. Does that make sense? So I don't know. You can build tanky, but it's not really tanky. You can build to sustain, but they're still probably gonna burst you down. And so you can build for damage and kill them before they get to you, but risk dying. It's just it's, I, I don't know. It's not even, for me, it's not even preference. I would rather just kill them sooner. Because I find the other one is just going to take take more time. <laughs> kind of. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. View Sonic, thank you so much for sponsoring the channel. If you're looking for a massive, massive, top tier, best of the best monitor, check out View Sonic. Links in the description to a couple different monitors. And if you're looking for a wicked energy drink to give you the energy that you need, Check out advanced.gg, link in the description as well. Use code MTASHED for 10% off at checkout. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.